I see Notende, mm -hmm. who I haven't seen in a, in a while. In, in a while. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Even though it's under these circumstances. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, have you been crying? I have. Yeah. I have. I'm still in shock. I'm still in shock. This is uh, this is the third friend I'm losing in these past two months. So, mm. yeah. I'm Does just... that include Prokid? Yes. Yeah. Who else? Mm. A high school friend. Mm. A high school friend. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so sad, eh? the passing of, of, of Jabba. Um, and of course, the industry and ordinary people are just mourning, uh, you know, the, the death of Jabba today, the passing. Well, tell us about your interactions with Jabba. Oh, man, yo. <laughs> um, you know, I, I met Jabba long ago when I, when I was new in the industry, but mm. we never really um, hung out or spoke a lot. We always yeah. just saw each other at events. It mm. was only about eight, nine years ago, yeah. uh, when we became friends, when I could say that now we're really friends and we started mm. hanging out, Jabba loved talking. Jabba Yo, bona. Sing. <laughs> Typical guy from Northwest. Like, no. when he opens his mouth, oh, wow, no, 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 no. And he talk about anything and everything from relationships to music to spirituality to education to so many things whatever's on his mind he just he'd spit it out you know um jabba was the type of person who wanted to see people succeed and he mm. always spoke about um you know wanting to he had plans for people even though some of the plan, plans may may not have materialized mm. Mm. but he always had ideas and plans for people like hey you know if Nekina Lezaga, Nekbakleza saw for Mang Mang, I wish I could do this. I wanted, he had so many plans that included a lot of people, mm -hmm. you know. Um, yeah, man, I really, I just. Did you know, though, that he also suffered from depression? I did. You know, because more people never talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I did. I mean, look, he, he didn't hide it. Yeah. Um, he was public about Which it. Which is unusual, right? It is unusual, but yeah. I think it should become the norm because mm. it's, not, it's not cool for us to be shocked, you yeah, know, yeah. to hear about it. In the aftermath, so yeah, to speak. Uh, yeah. But I did know that he suffered yeah. uh, from depression. He was a very sensitive man, and even in my last uh, communication with him, he he wasn't he wasn't you know in in a good space. Mm -hmm. um, but he tried, man. He really tried. I know a lot of people. I know that's the conversation right yeah, now. Like, you know, he yeah. was depressed, but he really yeah. tried. He tried to be okay. He tried to make himself better. He did. He made a great effort in in just trying to be okay. Mm. Yeah, listen. You know, depression is such a such a such a dark place, and mm. you need support from the entire world, basically. People to lift you up, people yeah. to call you and ask you if you're okay, even if it means calling you every two hours. Even if it means annoying you, yeah, yeah you really need. Um, you know what I mean? As so much support as possible. Mm, let's talk about you. Mm. What happened to the music? Mm, you left the music. Say, I never left. Hey, did you or, or have you taken a break? No, I haven't okay. taken a break. <laughs> What's happened? I mean, when last did you record? Just even a note. Record. I was like, recording ding, ding. yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm relieved. <laughs> oh. No, oh. I, I can never leave music. I'm always, okay. I'm always writing. I'm always recording. Mm. Um, I've just released a single, uh, which is on the She compilation. Uh, yeah. All female R and B soul compilation. Oh, uh, okay. Um, and I'm working on new music as well. Also recorded some things for Global Citizen. I don't know if I'm even allowed to. Are you aging? Eh? But uh, yeah. Global <laughs> Citizen. Are Global Citizen. Are finished. <laughs> ah, soon they'll be calling you a diva. You know that's the end. Give other kids a chance. It's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, I also understand that you're a businesswoman. Yes, indeed, indeed. Okay, tell us about your, tell us about your, your, your business and your own hair range. Yes. What I set have... you on this journey? Yo, it, it's my own personal journey. Um, I stopped relaxing. Mm. I've always been into hair. I know. I think like any other woman, we like hair. Of course. Um, but I stopped using chemicals and relaxing my hair in about 2009. Mm. And then I started doing research um, on, you know, things I can use to take care of my hair. And, and that, that um, curiosity grew and I eventually started making my own products from there. And then, you know, give it to friends, give it to family. And then the suggestion came that maybe I should sell these products. And then 
just been growing from there really oh, so do you, i mean do, do, when you started was someone backing you financially or you used your own money no use my own money okay use my own money yeah and then i mean do you have a place like an office no there is no office right okay. now there is a lab so just a laboratory yes. <laughs> <laughs> where i make all the products all the products are handmade by myself so it's not like we're putting a machine how did you get into that i mean where did you learn to do that it's a combination of curiosity yeah. of just wanting to learn being you know willing to learn and also just instinct i think i think it's also a gift you know okay yeah i really think it's so what's gift. so special about your product what's so special about firstly they're handmade so they're not made by a machine uh all natural products so there's nothing that is going to cause harm to the body to the mind to the spirit um i believe in 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 you know treating a person holistically whether it's hair care or skin care even nutrition you know anything mm. like that and so i create the products holistically um so that is it only for women no i do have male clients okay mm, i do have male clients you know these days women want to grow your beards and whatnot so hey ah uh, no mina mina from my family there's no beard right? <laughs> uh, it's not way as you can see like my beard, the way that it grows, it's like, um, it's like, you know, when you go to a stadium and it's not a full house, some people are sitting on that corner, that's how my beard is growing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's not going to work. Others are sitting there, three are sitting there, two over there. That's my beard. Like, literally, when I shave in the salon, they have to look for it. Okay, what's the other one? Oh, no, I like it. Yes, this other one. Oh, there. Woo, dude. It's fine. It's not for you then. Yeah, I know. It's not. <laughs> Even your handmade stuff won't work for me. But I do have male clients, especially those that have hair. Okay. Like grow their hair or their beards. Okay. And yeah, they're all happy. Wow. Mm. So why did you call your company Why You For Me? It's not Why You For Me. Why You For Me? Yeah, yeah. It's called Yum Me. Oh, Yum Me. But I saw a dot there. I said, okay, it's what? a four. A dot means, since when does a dot mean four? Kuna dot la pena. Yum to Nyama. So what is it called again? Yum Me. I told you. Yum Me. Yum Me because I use food. Okay. Most of the ingredients are No, I thought it's why you for me, like him do. <laughs> Inspiration. Killing your song. So, so, so tell us about the ingredients that you use. Um, most of my ingredients are sourced in different parts of Africa, and ninety nine percent of them. There's only one ingredient that I've sourced from outside, and it's from India. Uh, but a lot of the ingredients are natural. They they grow naturally in okay. South Africa. Like Who grows them? Nature, Mother Nature grows so them. So you get these things for free. <laughs> 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 I wish. No. I wish. I really have to pay to live on Earth, man. Mm. I have to pay for everything else. Mm. But no, um, stuff like biobab, for instance, which is a well-known fruit. Okay. Uh, I use that in the products. Chocolate as well. Cocoa powder. Uh, coconut oil. Aloe vera. Shea butter. Those are some of the ingredients. Shea yeah, butter is a bread, man. Shea butter. Anyway, when I don't know something, I don't have, want to act like I'm bourgeois and, ah. and I move on into chiabata. And then they ask me, hey, what's chiabata? And like, it's bread. You can see it's not bread. <laughs> so, um, obviously, you know, when we're all ambitious, mm -hmm. you start a company mm -hmm. and you want to compare your, your, your what you've started with other big brands mm -hmm. uh, out there. Mina, personally, mm -hmm. I've never heard of your company. It means you're not doing anything to market it. But you're not the sad. target market. No, I don't have to. <laughs> no, I'm not a target market. I don't play golf, but I know there's a Tiger Woods. Yes, <laughs> but we're here now. Mm -hmm. Now you know. So yeah. So what what are you doing to to make you know to make people aware of your products and what you're doing? Uh, look, we, the company is still pretty much new. Okay. Um. So I am marketing it on social media i think okay. that's the easiest yeah absolutely um and most accessible so i do have an instagram page a twitter page a facebook page as well i do have an online web store okay where people can order their products i also have a whatsapp line uh for people to if they want to inquire make Excellent. inquiries 
Um, so yeah, for now, those that is how I am available to the public. That is how I'm. And you have a very, and you have a lot of influential friends who I think might want to see you succeeding. And if they use your products, they'll yes. go out and talk about them. Yes, definitely. I do have some, some successful friends who use the products. Hey, ah, with I'm, his beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm using why you for me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's great. Uh, really happy for you. Thank and you. And we wish you success. Thank we wish you, so you all much. the best. Thank and of course, you know, so sorry about you know your friend, yes. our friend, yes. um, Java, Double HP. Mm -hmm. So may his soul rest in peace. And I wish you success. Thank Not ended. Thank, thank you so much for visiting us on the Glenzito. Uh, Thank super you for dream. inviting me. It's I didn't invite you, Slang. Yeah, it's fine. She, she invited Anyways, me on your I behalf. I was never. <laughs> and she did it behind my back. I just saw you coming. <laughs> Four minutes to.